Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the English summary, a just in the translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Mawlana Kamru Zaman Sahib Dhamad Barakatum, which took place on the 2nd of Zulhijjah, 1442, Tuesday after the Ishraq Salat, corresponding with the English date 13th of July 2021. Hazrat Wala Dhamad Barakatum starts off by reading the dua, uh, the hadith, Ad Dua Mukhul Ibadah. Dua is the essence of ibadat. And then Hazrat Wala goes on to say, this is dua ki bohat zarurat hai. That presently there is a great need for dua, and especially in South Africa. Mufti Yaqub Wali, an alim of note, was just saying now that the whole country is on fire. People are looting this, that, and the other. He explained the situation there. Therefore, Presently, there is a great need of, for dua. It should not be such that they pass the places of trade and commerce and come into the areas of uh, the residence where people stay, etc. <clears throat> the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Hassinu amwalakum bis zakat. Protect your wealth by giving zakat. وَدَاوَوْ مَرْدَاكُمْ بِالصَّدَقَاتِ And treat your sick and ill by giving sadaqah. There's a hadith also that a sadaqah to tutfi'u ghadab al-rab. That sadaqah extinguishes the ghussa and the ghadab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazamara Shah Wasiullah sahab, if anything used to happen with the grandchildren, what Maqbool, Aziz, etc., if any one of them used to become sick, immediately before doing anything he would say give some sadaqah give some sadaqah that's how much of yaqeen they had in the hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that if anything had to happen musibat sickness bimari first thing first give sadaqah allahu akbar allah and especially now with the present situation we should give sadaqah abundantly you know there was a waqia here at chok uh, Kari Abdul Latif. Now this incident took place many decades ago. There was also something like that, that there was fire and it was going from shop to shop, shop to shop and people were helpless. What do you do in a situation like that? You just stand, you're waiting for the fire brigade, you're waiting for somebody to come and throw water. What do you do? You can't really do anything. And the person of that particular shop stood there and he said, that my shop will not burn. My shop will not burn. I have given my zakat. That's how much of yaqeen he had. The fire continued and it came right up to his shop. And the amazing thing there was that in his shop were all things that were absolutely flammable. Something like we would say like paraffin, petrol, matches, etc. But look at the Qudrat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the yaqeen of the individual. The fire comes and it stops right at the door of his shop. Allahu Akbar. Hassinu amwalakum bis zakat. Protect your wealth by giving zakat. Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to also quote the incident of a certain saintly person. And whenever he used to become sick, and on one occasion he, he, he stated he, he became very, very ill. Nevertheless, the doctors came to make the shkhis. And he said to the doctor, please write out the full prescription. Write out the full prescription and uh, whatever it is, I will arrange that. So the full prescription of the medicines were written out. He said to the assistant, go into the bazaars, go to the chemist. Give them this note of all the medicines. Don't buy the medicines. Just get the price. The attendant went, he got the price, he comes back and he gives it. When he looks at it, he says, no, I just want the price. What's the price? He says, Hazrat, it's a, it's a lot of money. He says, I'm not concerned about that. Give me the amount. The money, the amount was given. He takes out the money and he says, give that same amount in charity. And the ajeeb thing was that every time he used to do that, instantly he was cured. Allah used to give him shifa. That's the amount of yaqeen that they had. That's the amount of yaqeen that they had. On one occasion, 
I went to Hazrat Maulana Abraham Haqsa, Hazrat Walad Ahmad Barakatu me saying, and uh, on that occasion, I spoke on this particular topic, and I quoted this hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is what we need to develop within ourselves. We need to have yaqeen in these fundamental things, in the wa'ad and the wa'id, in the wa'ad and in the wa'id. We need to have yaqeen in it. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala protect us. You know, when a Muslim in one part of the world, in the Mashriq, in the East, years about some difficulty about the Muslim in the Maghrib, in the West. If it is good news, he becomes happy. If it is sad news, he becomes sad. He shares in the grief and the gham of that. And that's actually one of the reasons that we study the news and we listen to that, that we can see, are there any Muslims in any type of difficulty that we can assist them, we can make dua for them, etc. Presently, I want to tell you about Ayyub Bai. I think he's from Barbados. Uh, he had some type of a sore or a wound on his neck. Nevertheless, he went and he done the operation. They covered it up, etc. after the operation. But when they opened it up, because he was a patient of sugar diabetes as well, they couldn't believe that how it had spread and it had become uh, absolutely... Uh, from how you can say from bad to worse, they didn't know it, it would spread. Uh, just listening now to that voice clip and how his wife uh, bitterly wept on the phone asking for du'as. These are my special people, make du'a for them. Ayyub Bai. And the other one is that of Kari Yaakob of South Africa. You know, I went to his place also. He purchased a, a, a huge house there also. We ate, etc. He comes here as well. He's also uh, taken a bad turn. He's not well at all. Make dua for him. Make dua for him. Dua in Neem e Shabbat. Dafe Sad Bala. The dua in the middle of the night is the means of driving off a hundred calamities. That time, the time of the Hajjud. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You make dua at that time, Allah will remove all your bala and all your musibat. Allah Ta'ala gave us the tawfiq and the hidayat of making dua. A dua u mukhul ibadah. Dua is the essence of ibadat. How come? In ibadat, what is found in ibadat? Ajizi. Inkisari. A person reads, uh, makes salat. He goes into ruku. What is he doing? He's bowing down to Allah. He goes in sajda. What happens in sajda? He's putting ashraf on arzal. He's putting the most noble part of his body, his face, his forehead on the lowest thing which is the zameen Allah becomes so happy with that Allah becomes happy with that and that's the essence of ibadat and badarja atam that's found in dua because when a person makes dua he's like a beggar koi big mangne wala he's like a beggar and that is most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahu Akbar I went to South Africa Subhanallah Ali Mia also wanted to go to South Africa and it wasn't meant for him. He could not reach South Africa. Nevertheless, I went there, a tall person, Waji, and he had a amama, everything. And he came there, I said, who's these people? It turned out that this person was a judge. And he came to ask me about certain things that, listen, Hazrat, you know, I'm a judge. I need to give a fair in the court. But the rule of the country is such that they have made this permissible, that permissible. Such people of that caliber also in different, different fields also came to the majlis and asked about their parishanis and their concerns. Mm. Nevertheless, my heart was affected about these current, the current situation in South Africa. That's why I spoke so much about this. Hazrat Nizamuddin Awliya Rahimahullah Ta'ala would say that Qiyamat ke bazaar mein when a person goes on the day of Qiyamah, there will be nothing more kimti for him than hamdardi and ghamkhari. What is hamdardi? What is ghamkhari? To share in the gham and the dard of the next person. And that's exactly what we're doing now. There's parishani in South Africa and we are sharing in that pain, in that gham that is there. You know, I went to Baruch and all these people places started progressing but the progress of Baruch took place last when I reached there 
it started going on the path of progress and alhamdulillah many changes came about I went there at the right time and masjid started coming up one by one alhamdulillah most of the masajid I put the bunyad there and I made dua nevertheless we just read here after the ten qawaid that were mentioned about the tazkiyah and nafs the author says that there is a great need and he con concludes this discussion by this by saying that there is a great need for muhasaba to make muhasaba of the self and he explains and he says that the dunya is darul muhla wal amal this dunya is a place of respite muhlat ye muhlat muhlat ki jagah mm. and this dunya is a place of amal mm. whatever you want to do do here and it is necessary for a person to make muhasaba of himself before he goes to the court of Allah where Allah is going to make muhasaba of him it is a very simple thing to make muhasaba it is very very simple and the benefits of it are tremendous Hazrat Wala simply goes on to say that make muhasaba of yourself if you've done something good during the day make shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shukr is not only for eating and drinking shukar is also for shukar is also for if you've done some neki you read quran you made zikr make shukar to allah ta'ala allah ta'ala allah ta'ala will increase you in that this place is darul ghaflat we are in ghaflat hazrat Mawlana muhammad ah ahmad partabgari used to say that does a person eat karwi dawa he eats karvi dawa and then you tell everybody listen i eat butter medicine nobody does that my brother you done it for yourself even this ibadat amal whatever you're doing it you're doing it for yourself because tomorrow you need it in the akhirat so a person if he done any good he'll make shukar to allah this is muhasaba and if he done anything wrong in the day oh i done this wrong how did i do this guna how did i do this here allah tala forgive me allah tala make me maaf you know, a person takes medicine. I, I was thin, Hazrat Wala Damat Barakatu is saying. I was like Mahboob. But after I realized I was diagnosed with the sickness of thyroid, I had to take a certain medicine every day. I had to take a certain medicine every day. I had to take a certain medicine every day. Alhamdulillah, I was taking it. I take it punctually and it benefited me. Similarly, we need to take this type of uh, uh, medication even the zikr and that the a'mal it's there some people will do it some will not do it those who do it will benefit those who don't do it it would be against them it they would not benefit have fikr for your islah a deen yusrun the deen is easy so listen the zahiri part of deen uh, your outward a'mal it's easy so tell me will allah ta'ala make half easy and half difficult no ways the zahir is also easy the batin is also easy see a person Hazrat Anwi has even mentioned he opens the window why he wants light he opens the window why he wants a nice cool breeze to come inside but when he opens the window can't he make the niyat I'm opening the window I also want to listen to the azan just opening a simple window just by making niyat there's so much of benefit a person puts a garden he, he's made it walk up. there's so many needs that he can make a musafir will come he'll sit under the tree he'll rest there he'll drink water there there's so many needs that a person can uh, make so it is very very simple Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of making amal let us make dua now ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب and then we make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make hifazat of our properties of our wealth of our assets of our children of our spouses and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give complete speedy recovery to Ayyub Bay complete speedy recovery to Kari Yaakub Saab these are my special people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq and enjoy it Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta al-sameeul alim wa tub alayna innaka anta al-tawwaab al-rahim bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam